Hi everyone, today we're going to be drawing our symmetry artwork. So to do this, first we're going to make our paper in a square shape so we can have our artwork completely symmetrical. Just keep your paper in a horizontal way and take one of the bottom corners and fold it until its top edge reaches the top edge of the paper. Once you're done with that, you can just press down lightly so that your paper st stays in that square shape. Then you're going to take a ruler and draw a line with your pencil going down to the bottom of the paper. So now one, of, one side of our paper is a square and the rest of it is just excess paper so we can go ahead and cut off the excess paper. Now we're going to be folding it in the other directions. So we're going to be folding it diagonally this way and horizontally this way and vertically this way. So the different sections that we folded our paper into are going to be our lines of symmetry in our drawing. So the next step of our drawing is going to be drawing a smaller square inside of this bigger square. So take your ruler and measure two inches from the corner of your paper. Once you've measured that out and marked it on your paper, you can draw a line from the top of the paper to the bottom of the paper and do the exact same thing for every single side of the paper. So once you have all your two inch lines drawn on every side of the paper, we can start filling in the middle square of our paper. So we're going to start out by taking our ruler and drawing and tracing over the creases that we made before inside the smaller square. Once you're done with that, we can start making designs. So since these are all our lines of symmetry, whatever goes in one triangle is going to go in all the triangles. So if I draw a half circle over here, the same thing is going to go in every triangle and in every section. So we can keep on continuing to make designs in each section and replicate it in an, um, all of the other sections until this small square is filled. If you have spaces left in the corner of your square, you can make diagonal lines to fill that space up. Once you're done filling in our inner square, we can start to make designs outside of our square. But first, let's draw the border of our inner square. Once you've drawn the border of your inner square, we can start designing all these smaller squares on each corner. Of. Once you've drawn the border of your inner square, we can design the corner squares um, by drawing lines of symmetry in them. And once you're done drawing the once you're done drawing the border of your inner square, you can start designing the corner squares. We're going to draw lines of symmetry inside of them and make patterns just like we did for our inner square. So for example, for this square, we're going to draw a horizontal line of, a vertical line of symmetry, a horizontal line of symmetry, a diagonal line of symmetry, and another diagonal line of symmetry. Repeat that step with all of the four corner squares 
and design each of them to your own liking. To make your whole paper symmetrical, you can repeat the same design in each of your corner squares. When you're done designing all of your corner squares, we can now fill in these rectangles that are left. To make the paper symmetrical, we should fill in the rectangles with something that is the same for each rectangle. And you have your finished sketch! So now we're going to trace over all of our details and all of our squares, all of our lines, with a sharpie or a black marker. When you are tracing over your lines, be careful to not trace over your lines of symmetry if you don't want that in your design. Once you're done with tracing, your drawing should look something like this. To make our paper symmetrical, we're going to color each shape the same color. So for example, if we're coloring this star green, all the rest of the stars are also going to be green. When you're done coloring, your drawing should look something like this. Hope you had fun making this drawing and see you next time!